from the East Tennessee Weather Center, here's your afternoon weather update with meteorologist Mike Witcher. And good afternoon. Sure, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for checking in with your afternoon weather update. I'm broadcasting from Dallas, Texas for the National Weather Association's annual weather conference. So I'll have a lot more on social media and of course when I get back to Knoxville. But in the meantime, let's talk about the forecast for the day today because really we aren't going to see much changes from what we saw yesterday. And that's going to be the trend on into our Sunday as well. So some solid weather is on the way. Yeah, we are going to see, uh, well a little bit of a breeze pickup throughout the afternoon hours, but that's really going to be about the extent of it. So not a whole lot. Nether Coastal Low will be heading inland from the Carolinas as we get into next week, but I just don't think it's going to do a whole lot either. All right, here's your future cast for the day today. Again, we do have a chance from here on out to see a few pop-up showers, maybe a few thunderstorms. We have that southeasterly flow taking shape. We'll call it a mix of sun. Some areas will get plenty of sunshine. Some areas will be mostly cloudy for a good chunk of the day, and I think the best chance of seeing the clouds will be across the Southern Valley and the Cumberland Plateau. But by the end of the day, you can really see that not much rainfall is expected for most locations. So the lunchtime temperatures have been hovering in the 70s and low 80s. If you're heading off to the football game or doing some tailgating or having friends over for the game tonight, uh, it's going to be a perfect evening to watch the game outside. We've got temperatures in the 80s, plenty of sunshine. We'll drop it in the mid to upper 60s to low 70s towards the end of the game. So it does look like it's going to be a dry football game. As I mentioned, the wind is going to be picking up throughout the day. So a little breezy in the valley, a little gustier in the mountains. So that's where we are expecting some higher wind gusts, typically below the wind advisory criteria. But just keep that in mind if you're up in the National Park or in the foothills that it is going to be on the breezier side. Forecast high temperatures today will be more average. We're back in the mid to upper 80s. Uh, so a nice yeah, afternoon ahead of ahead in our way. And really, again, to highlight that evening forecast, if you have any outdoor plans heading off to date night tonight, uh, we'll be in the upper 70s by 8 and mid 70s by 10 o'clock tonight. Now, our dew points are going to drop into the low 60s and pretty much stay that way over the next five to seven days. So that's good news. That's a little bit drier air, not extremely dry air, but a little bit. So at least it's going to be mild and not too terribly muggy. Now, this the remnants of Francine continue just to kind of meander across the southern U.S. It zipped its way north, hovered around West Tennessee for a while. Now it's kind of drifting back to our south. High pressure is in control across the uh, northeastern sections of, of the country. But as we get into our uh, weekend and in the start of next week, we're going to be talking about another coastal low moving its way on in. However, as I mentioned, I just don't think that it's going to produce a lot of precipitation. It will probably give us some cloud coverage uh, and maybe some spotty showers. But the general idea is we're looking at relatively rain-free conditions over the next five to seven days, which is not great news because as you look at the month so far, uh, well, we've not seen a lot of rainfall. So again, over the next seven days, not much in the way of rain. And this is not great news as we head into the rest of September and also into October, our two driest months of the year. So we desperately need some moisture. At least it's not going to be too terribly hot. We're talking about pretty seasonable weather. However, the Climate Prediction Center is predicting the possibility of above average temperatures for the latter part of the month and maybe leading into the first of October. So make sure you check in with the East Tennessee Weather app every once in a while. If you don't have it, download it today. Just go to the App Store and search East TN Weather all one word. It's everything you need for weather right here in East Tennessee. Again, broadcasting from Dallas, Texas for the National Weather Association's annual weather conference. I'll put more on social media throughout the day, but in the meantime, we sure hope you enjoy your Saturday afternoon. Your next weather update is coming up at six o'clock just before game time, my friends, just before game time. <laughs> Have a great day.